Good evening, Melbourne and Geelong, and welcome to another episode of Bent TV with Intali Pound by Ginny. My name is Ginny Sarasvati, your host for the next few minutes. Now, behind me is Bryant Park in New York City. That's right, I'm coming to you from New York City. Now, this ice skating rink opens up to the public for free every fall, which is autumn in Australia, I guess. Now, I'm about to take on this ice skating rink. Last time I did this, I fell at least 12 times. Let's see if I can beat that record this time. While I do that and fall on my face, why don't you listen to the interview I did with an eye day? She is Anaya Day, an Australian favourite and house music royalty. Anaya, you had amazing success recently. Shelter me that you wrote with uh, Lee Dagger and Ashley K.W. and Bob Jones. Ashley K.W., I've got to say, I've seen her work at, down, like, at the Australian Club. If that girl can write as well as she can dance, she's very talented. Yeah, she can. I mean, she co-wrote with me, so it got me to number one. So obviously she dances as well as she writes and vice versa. So we're going to keep her around. Keep her around. Even if you need backups, dancing. Yeah, if I needed it, hey, okay. <laughs> She'll do it. Yeah. She's a woman of many talents. Well, Shelter Me got to number one and um, it was still ranking higher than Ariana Grande at a certain stage. Yeah. Some people were happy about that, I'm going to say. Yes, and after a while, I beat um, Iggy Azalea. I, yes, I took her down from the number one spot. Yeah, yeah. How does it feel? Because it's not your first number one. You've had number ones previously. Yes. But Every time you reach that milestone, it must be like, wow. Yeah, it's awesome. Every time. Yeah. You know, because you're only as good as your last gig, we say. You're only as good as your last gig. So it really doesn't matter much that you had a number one hit in 1974. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want to stay relevant and keep hitting, you know? So to be able to do that is a blessing. And last year, it made some noise. I went to number four in the Billboard chart. So it's the second year in a row that I've made top five. So I, I'm just trying to keep it going and stay relevant and keep my sound in the ears of the people and my face in the eyes of the people. I've got to say too, I know how hard you are. Like you pump out songs like there's no tomorrow. Sometimes you struggle to remember the names. Of the yes, songs I do. Because you pump out so many, and I know how hard you work. Because I get emails from you like a ridiculous hours. I'm like, yeah. do you ever sleep? Not really. You work really, really hard. I mean, you're gigging, you're writing, you're recording, you're planning stuff. You have your own label. How do you juggle? And I manage others. How do you do it? You know, I don't know. I just do it. I just, I'm, I'm always been a person who does what needs to be done. I don't go, oh man, how am I going to manage this? I just, you know, I, for me, I like being busy. If I'm idle and I have too much free time, I think something's falling off. I, something's wrong. I don't have anything to do. You know, you should be busy. If you're just sitting there idly, then something is wrong. You know, so I, I try to keep busy and I, every day I tell other people, every day do something that furthers your career, furthers yourself. Every day do something. Just don't, don't let it be cast asunder. You have to nurture it. And if you nurture it, it grows. It's the law of the universe. And such wise words that you've just shared with us. And can I just say, being in New York City, people have passed on that kind of wisdom to me. I met someone the other day who told me that they came to New York City and they wanted to get a gym membership. So the way that they got it was they went to a, a gym and said, can I hand out flyers for you in exchange for that? And he's now one of the most richest people in the yeah. city. Not many people know this about you, but you used to do theatre back in Germany. You traveled all yeah. over the world. Not and in New York. And in New York as well. Yes. What's it been like for you? The journey from theatre to go all the way down to performing at different stages and your own stuff. To me, it's not really a journey because it's all music. It's all performance. Um, I've been in music and theater since I was 12 years old. So I was doing a lot of theater here in New York, and actually I auditioned in New York for Cats. And the, uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber's company, it's, it's called Really Useful. And the heads of his company were here auditioning for Cats. And we have these things called mandatory auditions for, e for actors' equity. And I went to one of the mandatory auditions for Cats, and Arlene Phillips, who is on X Factor in the UK, says to me, would you like to go to Germany? And I was like, okay. She said, we can't leave this week. When you leave in two days. And I 
was like, oh, no. You know, I'm thinking, oh, 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 and then they called another time and said, can you come to Germany? And I was going to be in Belgium. And I said, well, actually, I can. I can get there in February because I'll be in Belgium. They said, really? You can come? And I said, yes. And the director of the show that I was doing in Belgium drove me to Germany, put some Deutschmarks in my pocket and everything. And that's how I wound up living in Germany for five years. Wow. Doing, I was doing musical theater only one of those years. Really? Yeah, and I went there for musical theater. And I wound up meeting Moose T and Errol, and I did Keep Pushing, Hold Your Head Up High, Horny, and all three of them hit. One after the other, they all internationally hit. And I did them as demos, like, eh, whatever, just pay me for my session. You know, I didn't realize that they would get so big. And they all blew up. And then I said, okay, God's trying to tell me something. I called my agent back here in New York and told him to stop sending me on auditions. He laughed so hard. He said, no one's ever told me to stop sending them on auditions. Wow. Yeah, and I said, I just don't have time anymore. And I was touring like crazy with house music. And it just kept going. So that's how you and House Music are pretty much married. Yeah. Now look at where it's gotten you. Yeah. Who knew? Who knew? And in Australia, like, you know, people love you at clubs. They love seeing you perform. What do you love most about Australia? Audiences. The audiences are so engaged. Like, I was performing one time and this guy holds the phone up. It's like right here in my face. I'm going, I am the one. And he's showing me some other song that he loved that I forgot I made. And I was like, and I said, Whoa! I was like, Look, he's holding the phone. I can't remember. In the middle of my I was so shocked. You know, and the dedication and the. Just the energy there, I love it. It's effortless. I can go out there and perform, not worried about if they're gonna like it or not. You know, they've come to have a good time. I love that. Nobody's standing around going, entertain me. They've come there with the mind to music. They walk in like, oh, music's popping. You know, I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's an, it's an easy performance every time. I love it. What I also love about hanging with you is some of the stories that you tell about the weird things you see at Giga. to the right of the stage, kind of behind us. And you see a girl on her boyfriend's lap. But then you go, they? and her skirt is up, and they're actually doing no. it to the music. Well, you're here to give people a good time, right? Yeah, I, didn't, that I, much I, of a I never time. thought it should be that good. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. And I was like, Jason, Jason. He's like, what? Look! The man <laughs> Yeah. Downstairs. Here. Well, it was a bit touch and go there for a while, but I managed to survive Bryant Park's ice skating ring. And he fell on my face twice, but it was cold. Hope you enjoyed the interview with Anaya Day and had a laugh or three. Make sure you check out bentv.org.au for all upcoming episodes or check out ginny.com.au. Good night, everyone. <laughs>